Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your seventh Flexbox tutorial and in this video we're going to go through our first example and create a flex menu. Dogs, so I've gone ahead and opened up this example one folder and I'm going to be working in this menu.html file which you can see right here and also this style.css file which is linked up in the head here. So in this menu.html file you can find a div with a class of wrapper keeping everything within this central column. Then we've got some pretty standard markup, a nav element, a ul and then some li's within it containing a tags. So that's pretty standard when it comes to creating a menu in html. So what we're going to do is jump to the styles and we're going to style this up using Flexbox and some other kind of base styles. So I've split this into two. First of all, I've got those styles right there, which are just styling the body and the wrapper, etc. Then I've got a comment right here saying menu base styles. This is where we're going to do things like the color, uh, the font weight, the padding, that kind of thing. And then down here, we're going to apply those flex styles so that they align properly. All right then, so let's start off by grabbing the nav element. So I'll say nav open this up and what I'll say is background 333. Three. I'm just going to zoom in one more because it looks a little small. Okay, then I'll go after the UL within the nav. So I'll say nav UL and what I'm going to do is give these a list style type of none and that's going to get rid of those little blobs that you saw to the left of them. I'm also going to get rid of the padding on those. Okay, then I want to style the links themselves, so I'll say nav A. And then the first thing I want to do is take away the underlining of them, so I'll say text decoration is none. Then I'll say text align is going to be center. And this will kind of come into effect later. In fact, I'll leave that one off for now. I'll just comment it out. Then I want to say they're all going to be white, so color FFF. Um, I'm going to display them as block. So they all take up the full width by default. And I'm going to give them a padding as well of 10 pixels like that. Okay. Now I want to do a quick hover effect on these. So I'll say nav a pseudo hover. And all I'm going to do is change the background color to 555 five, five, which is a slightly lighter gray so there's our menu to begin with and this is typically how it would probably look on mobiles something similar to that and maybe we could include a drop down menu I'm not going to do that now but uh, the point is on mobiles it's always going to revert to some kind of stacked design all right now what we want to do is make the flex menu for slightly larger screens so what I'm going to do is a media query first of all and I'm going to say media screen and Oops, the minimum width is going to be 768 pixels. So only when the browser is larger than 768 pixels are these flex um, properties going to come into play. For all browsers less in size, then it's going to look like this stacked version and we'd apply, like I say, some kind of drop down menu to it. All right then, so let's open up this media query. Give ourselves a bit of room. All right then, so the first thing I wanna do is grab the UL tag because that is gonna be our flex container. Remember, these right here are gonna be flex items. And for those to be flex items, we need to make this a flex container. So let's get that UL. So we'll say nav UL, and we're gonna give that a display type of flex like that. And then look what happens. They all now line up to each other left to right. Pretty cool, right? So we can either keep it like that or we can apply some kind of flex grow to it. So let's just try that. I'll say nav li, these are the flex elements within it, remember. And we'll say flex is one, one and zero. So now they're growing to all the available space and they're taking up the whole navigation. And if we had more links, then they would too. So if I just kind of copy one of these, and paste it in again, you're going to see that they're all going to be the same size, they're all growing at the same rate to take up the available space. Pretty cool, right? So that has been done just using these couple of flex properties right there. How simple is that? Now, I would previously kind of do floats, 
clear those floats and mess around a little bit to get this to look how I wanted it to. This is so much easier. And before when I said text a line and I commented it out, I wanted that to have an effect right now because that looks a little bit nicer. So I want to show you one more thing and to do that I'm going to comment out this flex for now and I want to show you a property which we can apply to the flex container which is the UL and that property is called justify hyphen content. All right, and there's a few different properties we can use for this. So the first one is center. So let's try that, see what it does. And it's gonna center all of those flex items in the container. All right, dead simple. Uh, the next one is flex end, and that's gonna move them to the opposite side. And notice it doesn't change the order. If we used to use floats, because home was the first in the list, home would often float over to the far right and then kind of go backwards this way. Using this property right here, justify content and specify a flex end, it doesn't do that, it keeps them all in the same order. So that's really cool. The other one I wanna show you is flex start and that is kind of the default behavior where they're all on the left over there. And then finally, I want to show you these two here, space around and space between. So to demonstrate that, I'm gonna give these a tags a different background color. I'm gonna say background color will be about 777, so it's quite light, so we can see them now. All right, so now, justify content, I'm gonna say space around, and check that out. It spaces them around equally, and it adds a little bit of space on this side. So we've got space here, space on the edge, and then we've got space doubled up between them as well. All right, so on each side of each element, there's space. That's what space around does, and it spaces them equally. The other one I wanna show you is space between, and that just gets rid of the ones on the edges. So now there's equal space in between them all there. All right, what I'm gonna do is just keep this at flex start, because that's how I want my navigation. I'm gonna take that background color off them as well, because I don't want that for now. And to be honest, I'm not sure I'll keep this flex in. Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll keep that flex in for now. That looks pretty cool. All right, so that, guys, is how we make a simple navigation menu using flex. And these are the only flex properties we've used. How simple is that? So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.